so let us talk about cellular homology now cellular homology is given on page 137 of hatcher and uh, this is lemma 2.34 so the first thing we consider is that uh, we consider relative homology groups yeah so you know hk x comma a is nothing but hk x modulo a we have already discussed this before so if x is a cw complex then we have this relative pair of xn and uh, xn minus 1 yeah this is a good pair of cell complexes now this is zero if k is not equal to n and is uh, free abelian for k equals to n so it is zero for k not equal to n and this we need to remember and free abelian for k equals to n now this will follow from the fact that xn modulo xn minus 1 is a wedge sum of n spheres yeah so wedge sum of n spheres so as a result of which if the dimension is not n it will be zero yeah as we have seen before in uh, corollary 2.25 and uh, this uh, on page 126 we have seen that you know if it is a wedge sum then it will split as a direct sum of spheres and uh, that uh, direct sum is actually the basis so let the, let us write this down so xn modulo xn minus 1 is nothing but a wedge sum of spheres so since it is a wedge sum of spheres for k not equal to n we have seen that the sphere gives you 0 and each n sphere serves as a basis so for example i'm going to draw three bed sums like three spheres so let us draw these three spheres they have been wedge sums so each one of these spheres serves as a basis Notice that even for H0, it is 0. Although you might say there is a vortex in the in between, but that does not, that gets, uh, since it is Xn modulo Xn minus 1, that vortex comes out. So Hk Xn is 0 for k greater than n. So for this, we have to write the long exact sequence. So hk xn is 0 for k greater than n and uh, yeah I mean k greater than dimension of x is same as k greater than n. So first write the long exact sequence of the pair xn comma xn minus 1. Now we are going to use part a yeah so first note if if k is not n so if k is not n then what will happen and then if k is not n minus 1 so if k is not n minus 1 that means k plus 1 is not n so the left mode, left most term if k plus 1 is not n will be 0 
yeah and the rightmost term will be zero if k is not n yeah again leftmost term will be zero if k plus 1 is not n and rightmost term will be zero if k is not n let us write this term yeah so this will be zero by part a and this is k not equals k plus 1 not equals to n so this will again be 0 by part a so k plus 1 is not n so this is 0 so therefore we have an isomorphism between hk xn minus 1 and hk xn so this is an isomorphism here So if k is greater than n, we can go all the way down to 0, yeah? You can obviously go down here because, uh, yeah, you can keep constructing these long exact sequences. So fix any k and pick any n less than n and you can keep constructing these long exact sequences. So in this case the k is decreasing but we construct long exact sequence with xn xn minus 1 and then long exact sequence with xn minus 2 so we are here yeah. so in part c the inclusion map induces an isomorphism Yeah, so for space x is the big space so space x could consist of like n plus n cells and that's what we are going to use so he here indexes k is less than n so notice k is varying yeah you have to start with a fixed pair so the pair you start in the first long exact you said drew the pair i started with was xn comma xn minus one so that was one exact sequence then you need to construct another exact sequence with pair xn plus 1 comma xn then a third long exact sequence with pair xn plus 2 comma xn plus 1 and so on yeah so all these different long exact sequences see this, this will equality is not coming from one like exact long exact sequence but multiple of them so in this case we are drawing m exact sequences and isomorphism in each exact sequence carries over to other long exact sequence. So again, this is not one exact sequence, but m of them. Yeah, so that is pretty much it. So if k is less than n, then you draw exact sequences of pairs xn plus 1, xn, xn plus 2, xn plus 1, and so on. So so yeah because k is decreasing as an index and therefore for k greater than n you form pairs in the decreasing order 